Suppose a region in Rm is defined by a set of linear inequalities. We can find the vertices by introducing slack variables to turn the inequalities into equalities. The vertices correspond to solutions where the slack variables are non-negative for all i. Now the system will generally have n minus m free variables, and this means we can find the vertices by selecting n minus m of the slack variables and setting them equal to zero, solving the system, and if the remaining slack variables are non-negative, then the point is a vertex of the region. And in actual practice, we can stop if any slack variable is negative. If that happens, we'll have to go back and select a different set of slack variables to set to zero. So let's start with the problem where we can graph and verify that our solutions are correct. Since we're going to row reduce these, we should get the equations into standard form with all our variables on one side of the constant on the other. Now, note that some of our inequalities are less than or equal to, and others are greater than or equal to. So we either need to be careful about whether we're adding or subtracting a slack variable, or we need to rewrite our inequalities so they're all the same. Well, let's just try to be careful. So adding our slack variables, since 3x plus 5y is less than or equal to 100, then we need to add something to make it equal to 100. Since 2x plus y is greater than or equal to negative 50, we need to subtract something. Since negative x plus 4y is less than or equal to, we have to add something. And for 3x plus y, we need to subtract. So we can rewrite our augmented coefficient matrix. We can row reduce. And to make it a little easier to see what we're doing, we'll translate our row reduced form back into a system of equations. Since there are four slack variables and two free variables, our free variables could be any choice of two of these, and so those possibilities are If C3 and C4 are 0, the last two equations become, which we can solve to obtain. And since all slack variables are non-negative, this corresponds to a vertex. Now, if C3 and C4 are 0, our first two equations become, and substituting in our values for C1 and C2 and solving gives us, and since C3 and C4 are 0, this point corresponds to the intersection of the boundaries for the third and fourth inequalities. Next, we can let C2 and C4 be 0. This gives us the system, which has solution. So the corresponding point satisfies all the inequalities. If C2 and C4 are both 0, our first two equations become, substituting in our values for C1 and C3 and solving gives us, which will be another vertex. And again, since this is the vertex corresponding to where C2 and C4 are both 0, this vertex will be at the intersection of the second and fourth boundary lines. Next, we'll let C1 and C4 be 0. Our third and fourth equations become, which has solution, but since the slack variable is negative, this point will be outside the region. So C1 and C4 are zero, so it would still be a point at the intersection of the first and fourth boundary curve, but since C3 is negative, the third inequality won't be satisfied. So if the point will be outside the region, so we won't bother finding x and y. Next, we'll let c2 and c3 be 0. The last two equations become, which has solutions, 
And again, since C1 is negative, the first inequality will be failed, so this won't be a vertex. Next, we'll let C1 and C3 be 0. And solving the last two equations gives us... So the solution will satisfy all the inequalities. Again, if C1 and C3 are 0, our first two equations become... Substituting our values for C2 and C4 and solving gives us, which will be the intersection of the first and third boundary lines. Finally, if C1 equals 0 and C2 equals 0, our last two equations become, which has solutions, so our solution will satisfy all the inequalities. And so if C1 and C2 are 0, the first two equations are, and substituting our values for C3 and C4 and solving, we find, as our fourth vertex. Now to verify this, we'll graph our four equations. And the region we're interested in is the region that is inside all of these. And we find that our vertices, negative 25 13, 140 13 is here, 11 negative 28 is here, 175 17 and 235 17 is here, and 350 13 50 13 is here.